Hello, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Music and Culture. Before watching, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for the upcoming videos. Also like and share the videos. Thank you. Hello, welcome, welcome to Music and Culture. Today we're going to talk about how we used to cook our food in a different way. Even though today we're still using the same method of cooking because it tastes good. So today I'm going to show you how we cook a fish and a different way it will look like, you know, the way we used to cook. First of all, you take your fish, you clean it up. We usually do, it doesn't matter, it's not just fish. It's, it could be meat, like, you know, as, as I said before, my grandparents was hunting garter. It could be like, you know, meat that they kill from hunting and it's the same way they can cook. In the old days, though, the way they used to cook it, they will come back, like women will come back from fishing, clean their fish, and fix the leaves. They will fix all the leaves and put the fish in there, put all kinds of ingredients that they think it will make it taste good, and those leaves, and wrap it up, and then dig the ground. They will dig the ground to um, make it, it's almost like an oven, so the way they, they make it is very, very unique. They will dig the ground, make the soil where they do get wet, and then um, put the leaves again into it to protect so the dirt does not get to their food. So then they put the one that they already wrap it up, the fish that they already packed and wrap it up inside that hole. And the dirt that they dug out, they will make it wet and then um, put it on top of the food after they already cover it. So then the dirt does not get to it and put a big huge fire on top for it to cook it could cook for like two hours three hours but it's under the ground being cooked with the heat inside and you know, on top of it that is very amazing so it's, it's almost like the oven the old like the version of the oven so once they know that it's done they will add more wood until it is done they will come in this you know take off the fire and then spill water on it and then dig it out to be able to reach where the food is and then they will take the food out and open it the food will just be if it's meat it will be just tender like it's been in the oven for all this entire time the taste will just be so delicious so it's the same way we also still use now even though we don't dig the ground we don't we don't do all that stuff we still use the same method of cooking with leaves so this method that i'm going to show you is that i took the fish I put in the leaves, I covered it with all my spices and my ingredients and put it on a fire with the pot to cook. And by the time it, it took about maybe an hour or two, you keep adding water. And then when it's done, you open it and then you serve. Hello, hello, welcome to Music and Culture. Today we're gonna do another video on really what we call music and culture because you can hear the music in the background. But today we're gonna do on um, cooking. We're gonna cook a food, um, it's a catfish, and I'm gonna show you how we used to cook it in the old days without um, a lot of material that we use today to cook. We cook with the leaves. So anyway, without further ado, follow me through the process how we do it. Here you get a rock with the little grounding thing. I am grounding ginger. Before I start, let me show you what we're gonna put in on this fish today. This is a catfish. It's been cleaned, ready to have all our um, ingredients in it to cook. So here we have, it's called jangsang. You see all this little thing, it's called jangsang. This is what it's called, jangsang. And you can find it in any African supermarket. Really good for your cooking. Here we have ginger, I mean, uh, we call uh, magi, magi, onion, basil, uh, green onion. We have uh, here ginger and parsley. So I'm going to take my time to ground it as you see, so I can put it in my cooking. So I'm going to take one by one like we used to do in the old time. I can't believe that people will spend time grinding every little thing one by one. Can you imagine? But now that we have um, modern life, I'm here in the US trying to share my culture with you and trying to keep it for my kids so they'll know 
what my mom and my grandmother used to do before we can get a nice decent yummy meal on the table it wasn't just running to mcdonald's or anything it was this much work so enjoy with me Anyway, this was to show you how much work and effort it took to bring food on the table. Now that we're on the modern day, it's much more easier and simple. The food is still tastes good if you still put in your love and everything into it, but there's an easiest way to do it than doing it the way they used to do it. This is to show you how it used to be done. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna clean it up, as you see. But I took a shortcut, as you can do at home, because not everybody who has this grounding tool, I have this from my mom, who is my own legacy from her. We are now in a modern um, um, style, which um, we now use what they call blender. It's a blender right here. So I got everything that you just saw that I was grounding in there. So it's an easy process for me to actually just ground everything, as you can see inside here and i'm just going to easily pour in here hmm yum yum we need all that to go in the fish i'm still going to take what i ground i'm not going to leave it because it was a lot of work Now I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, garlic powder. Garlic powder to put it in it to make a more flavor. Now this, we got this out of the way, let's bring on. So I'm going to mix it all up right here. I'm putting salt right here. Before I mix, I'm going to put my Maggi, as you see, too. It depends how you want, how much you want to put. So now we're gonna go to the secret part that how we're gonna cook this. You're probably thinking that I'm gonna cook it in that pot. No, I'm not. Secret. Anyway, I have my leaves here that I'm gonna cook my fish on. Now you can find this here in Raleigh. I found it in a supermarket. It's what we use for everything. We use this for as butter. We use it to build our house, to cook, to do anything with even to go fishing because we didn't have dishes at the old time remember we'll talk about you know generation far far behind so here you can find that this is what they call it here in some um store i don't know how you will at least if you know the name like that you can find it okay here we go so i'm gonna take my leaves i'm gonna snack stack it as you see i already washed it so don't ever use it without washing and I'm gonna flip it around, as you see. I need to put as much as I could so my sauce doesn't spill on the floor. Okay, now I'm gonna put my fish here. I want as much more tasty flavor into it. 
then I can find. So now I'm gonna wrap it up. As you see, I'm gonna gather it together. I have it all together. I'm gonna make sure that none of my leaves is left and then my sauce doesn't spill. I start bringing it in together. There we go. Now we got it all tied up. I'm gonna use, what I use is this. It's a rope, but I, I already prepare it. So now what I'm gonna do, I have to make it long so I can wrap it up with. I'm gonna tie it around a couple of times, and I'm gonna go around, make sure it stays. And from here, I'm gonna tie a knot. Voila, it's cut, it's tied up, ready to get cooked up. We're gonna put it, the process of putting in a fire. Again, I'm not cooking in this spot, don't confuse. I mean, we're not cooking it here. We're cooking it different way. Follow me. Let's come to the adventure. So when I used to see my grandmother cook, she would tie it like this. And then when the fire has some charcoal, she will remove all this wood and set this um, in the middle for to stay there maybe three hours, two hours to cook. But now we're gonna cut into shortcut and do some cheating, huh? Okay, well, today I'm not gonna set it there because I wanna do it in a faster way. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this pot right here. I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of water, not too much. That's about enough. Now I'm gonna be putting like this little by little. I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want it to go into my um, leaf. We call this in my language, we call it ngundo. And some other language they call it ndumba. So welcome to the ndumba cooking. I'm gonna set it right here. And I'm gonna set another one next to it. I'm gonna cover it up. Now, traditionally, if I had a big piece of rock, I would put it on top to stay. I'm gonna use my wood. So it will cook like this for hours, maybe one hour, and then we'll come back and open it. And while it's cooking, there will be many things that you can do. You can prepare the complement of what you're gonna eat it with. I use this to protect it, to make it faster, but in the old days, I wouldn't have used a pot. I would have just put it in the um, charcoal to let it cook. And with us as Baka, we don't use charcoal. So if you will ever go to the Baka camp, like our area, we usually, after finish tying it like this, the fire is going on, and then we remove the fire, dig the ground, put on Dumba underneath the ground, and then cover it up and put the fire on top. That's the steel of our oven. We use, like, that's just the way we think is the oven. When it's finished cooking, we remove the fire, and then dig the ground, and remove on Dumba, then it's well cooked, nothing like what you think. It is, anyway, welcome, and stick around for the fin finishing. Okay, our cooking is done now. It's time to take it open. Ooh, nice and done, huh? We're gonna take it inside and open it. Okay, now let's open. Still see steamy hot, huh? Now we're going to cut it open because it's ready to serve. Here 
there it goes. Most of the time, we eat those with like um, manioc, which you guys call it cassava. Some people call it cassava, we call it manioc. We also boil plantain. My mother, when she used to cook it, she would boil plantain, like steam plantain, and peel it. And then we call that bichimo. Peel it and then, you know, pound it, it became like a dough. Then we eat it with, it's, it is a delicious thing. You know, if you will come in Cameroon, you will try, you will taste it, it's so good. So that's a different way of cooking where we didn't have pots and dishes and stuff. There was always a, a fine way of cooking that today we don't know how it tastes like. We don't even know how people used to do. We are um, so spoiled with pots and you know spoons and all kinds of stuff, but there was a different way that was also really, really good. I hope you try or I hope you enjoy it and i i hope you can taste the food that has been cooking and leave somewhere you know someday you could try if you can find some leaf now it's not just all kinds of leaf that you can use to cook with this special kind of leaf that sometimes they sell it here in the market in the um, asian market you can find it if you look for it you can see in a video i kind of like label it so you can see in a video so that's it for today for special kind of cooking with leaves and the taste of it and how it, how much time it takes to, you know, to prepare food that will taste good. I do hope you enjoy it. I do hope you learn something from music and culture, another edition of showing our, you know, our culture with you. And I hope you enjoy it. And then don't forget, don't forget to click that button to get the notification when another video come. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.